What's up guys? We today are taking Big Montana in the trailer and we're gonna actually put a car in the shop for the first time. Um, we don't have the front concrete down yet so we're literally backing the trailer up to it and it almost didn't clear because it's such a steep incline but right now we're gonna take uh, Project Hurricane out and it's gonna be the first car in the new shop. Tons of room. Now we can actually get some work done to it. What do you say, Matt? That was too loud. Yeah, that was, that was pretty loud. It was loud inside the car, but uh, I think she's ready for 411s. What do you think? I think so. And struts and a K member. All the goodies. I think she's behaved well, so it's time for the goodies. Let's do it, guys. What's up, everybody? West with Auto Mafia back. I got a pile of parts there. I'm sick of drama and bull crap. It's just before Christmas right now. So Matt and I here, we're not gonna port anything today. Enjoy your guys' Christmas. We'll start shipping again after Christmas for everyone who ordered one. Um, we'll probably post this video tonight. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go fast now. So this pile of parts that I haven't installed yet for the V6 to make it actually a race car with race suspension, gearing, um, spool, all that, it's happening now. So enjoy the watching and uh, watch us go fast. So if you guys look at all the parts that we have here, it is literally, I have our different intakes that we're gonna throw on right now um, that are really, really race ported. Um, we have a UPRK member. We have, I don't know what's in that box. Oh, that's a adjustable pan hard bar. We have uh, strange, Stuff. We got a DW pump, we got a spool, we got strange axles, we got Viking shocks, Viking springs, USA gears, 411s, motive install kit, more Viking parts, more UPR stuff, rear diff cover, battery box, adjustable A arms, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna start with. I'm pretty sure uh, I'm just going to have Matt go ahead and start pulling the rear end out from under the car. So we're going to get it jacked up and we're going to get it on four different jack stands. And what we're going to do is start pulling off all the wheels and everything like that. And we're going to continue pulling everything off of it so that it's fully disassembled so that we can start installing all of the new suspension. All right, guys. So first thing, we got her up in the air. She's obviously got her on jack stands, so we're a little safer. We're, we wanted to get this done, so we're not waiting until our, our new lifts get here. But first thing first, we're going to remove the tires and wheels and lug nuts so that we can get to some suspension. Here we go guys, first step for doing your rear suspension, back, wheels and tires off. So it's another day here at Auto Mafia Racing. We're still working on the uh, Project Hurricane in the shop. 
I was just taking some pictures when the cars were parting out. Uh, right now the car's still in the air, but I do have the front suspension installed. These are our Viking uh, full coilovers with 200 pound 14 inch springs, and we're using the UPR uh, caster camera plates on them. Got both sides on, and we're getting ready to drop the whole rear suspension and uh, make it work. So that's the update for right now. We'll come back when we're doing the rear. Obviously, I'm gonna make a, a full how-to video we're gonna release um, on how to swap these front coilovers on, and then the rears as well, how to do the coilover setup. Um, and that one's definitely a lot more involved on these cars, um, simply due to the fact that to give it an adjustable, you have to weld some stuff on. But there will be a couple how-tos out of this, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated, so enjoy. Getting really, really close to having it literally back together under the car with 411 gears. So I'm getting really, really, really excited about that. Can't, cannot wait. So we've got a whole bunch of shop stuff in the car right now, in the car, in the shop. Uh, so yeah, we've been moving kind of in. It's still being built, obviously. Um, we're still waiting for the electric to go in, but we had to move a bunch of our stuff in here um, to please the county, so. Oh, Alright guys, so update, the uh, diff is out and the rear end is painted, Matt is just now pulling it apart so that we can, actually we don't even need any of that because we're installing a spool and a new gear set, so that whole thing is uh, up for grabs. Um, so is the rear cover, um, like I said we got it painted, you can see the pinion in there. So. The axles are out, obviously sitting right there. We got new strange ones to put in with our strange um, C-clip illuminators and with the full spool and then a new set of gears. Chance and I over here are putting together the lift. Uh, one of them, our four post, um, in preparation for the two posts to come in, I think next week or the, the week after that, and then our Dynocom Dyno. Um, we'll get here fairly soon after that, I think another month we're waiting on. Um, but it's going to be awesome. We're really stoked to be able to use it here in the shop and be able to get all of our cars uh, ready at the track and uh, install our turbo kit. Quick update, guys. We uh, had to go pick up a few bolts, but while we were gone, the two-post lift showed up. So that's awesome. And we got the adjuster. Adjuster, I don't know what I'm talking about. We got the piece that attaches to the drive shaft that attaches to the pinion. We got that off. Now, one of the bolts was super stuck. It literally took like three of us hanging on to it to get it to actually crank off. So, um, about to pull the pinion out. Now it's, we're, we're good. So, uh, looking forward to having those four 11s in the car and two post over there. Four post is getting put together right now. That's what Chance and I are finishing up. So let's do it. All right, guys. So got the uh, bearings knocked out. Um, you can see the races there. So she's completely disassembled. As far as the gear set goes, we obviously need to take apart this side um, and the far end so that we can install so that we can install the strange C-clip eliminators, um, which I have sitting right on the box behind me right there. So we're getting close. I'm stoked. All right, quick update, guys. Once again, Matt is still working on the rear end. So he is uh, loctiting and installing our. Um, our ring to the spool so that is literally what locks it there that's where your differential would be usually but with the spool as you can see it's just a solid piece so there will be absolutely zero slippage other than that the rear end is coming together we got the pinion in so now we're at the last steps of, of the ring and spool and then we'll start putting in uh, the axles and everything all right guys so we're back here and we have the K-member out. We didn't take a lot of video of it because it's very dirty and they were, everything was super tight and it's under the car and there's not a lot of room because our two post is here, but it's not installed because we still don't have power. While we wait for power, we had to do everything manually, but take a look at them. You can see we will have a good bit more of clearance, which will be nice. And it's definitely a little weight savings. All right, good morning, everybody. Um, we wrapped up last night, uh, getting ready with the comparing the two K-members. So I had bought these billet motor mounts, um, but I can't use these. These are only for a stock K-member apparently, which is a bummer. So we're gonna have to return these um, or sell them. Um, I know I look like terrible. It's cause I've been super sick. Um, so most of us here have been super sick the last couple of days and we've just been working so hard at the same time, trying to get everything done that it's just, it's been killing us. 
killing us and kicking our butt. So this morning, it's like 8 a.m. We got up pretty early because today is the actual day that we want to take this racing and it is not ready. So um, I'm trying to put the K member together. I'll just make sure I have everything in place. I'm going to go ahead and bolt up the uh, electric steering rack to it and get everything set this morning. Just so that I know where everything goes and then I'll get it all bolted up so that we can just, basically Chance and I will just slide under the car together and just um, literally lift it up into place and bolt it on. Um, it should actually be really easy once you get to that point. Um, we did yesterday manage to get the four post fully mounted, um, leveled, everything. As you can see, we got the, uh, the Prius hiding under it right now. Um, we're super stoked about it being on like leveled and bolted down for the first time ever because before it literally was just a four post standing up and it would wobble and wiggle and it was very sketchy so um it's it's way better now which is awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work um i will show you guys the finished product as soon as i am am done with it essentially so so we've gotten a little further the car is has its wheels back on which means we got the camera member done so here now make it easier for you guys to see we have our UPR K-member under here. Got everything plugged back on. We have our UPR, the tow hooks on the front using stock A-arms and the included uh, polyurethane motor mounts. Um, they said they should be good. I called them this morning. Um, we might look into a solid mount for that later, um, but for right now, that'll be fine. But yeah, guys, check it out. Not bad, not bad. It really wasn't too bad of an install. Um, the hardest part was just kind of getting everything lined up together at the same time. You had to do the the, um, the steering rack. One thing about the steering rack, it has this backside bolt back here. Now this, in the 11 to 14 car, since we have the electric uh, power steering, um, there is a spacer that has to go in there. You cannot put it on in the car. It needs to be put on in a press, which luckily we have. So no big, no real big deal. We just popped it back out, put it on the press, pressed the spacer in so the bolt would fit correctly, and then we were good to go. So um, yeah, it's all buttoned up down here. Looks pretty good. Just threw the wheels back on. They're not. They're just tightened by hand. Um, we're gonna drop it back down um, onto its front so we can finish our intake install for our race ported uh, S197 intake. We're still gonna use the uh, stock air box um, with our air raid tube and our AFE filter. So. Almost there, um, Matt is finishing up. We had to put a couple more uh, shims in the rear end. Um, we were torquing it down and it still wasn't getting enough um, preload. It was barely even registering the preload, so we had to add some more shims. So we'll be torquing that back down again shortly. And yeah, like I said, right now we're just about to drop the car back down so that we can adjust the front coilovers and install the intake. All right guys, so now we got the car back on the ground. We are installing the intake. We got our, our race ported lower intake on and we're gonna put on some new injectors. See these guys, these are nice and short. These are the correct length injector and these are a thousand cc by a uh, fuel injector clinic. I don't know if you guys can see, but they do say right on there. Probably can't see it, but they do say, but you can see the height difference here between the um, 47 pounders that we were using and these. So these are the stock height, they're gonna install a lot better. Um, and then we will use them with the turbo as soon as we go to put that on like here in a week or so.